Welcome, my friends, to Shaking the Salt with Dr. Peppers. At the end of the message, stay tuned if you want to contact me for any reason, including prayers. Thank you. And I'm Dr. Peppers, Shaking the Salt. Here we go. Somebody once asked me, can you really control what you think? And my first thought was, no, I don't think I can. I just think things and they're stupid things. And then I think horrible things. And then, but do you have to keep thinking about them? That is the question. Think about what you're thinking about. What do you dwell on the most? Do you worry, worry? Are you angry? Are you mad? Do you look at people and judge them? Do you hate the people around you? Are you jealous of people because they have something you have that you want and you don't have it? Can you think about those things and then stop and think on things that are lovely and pure and good? Well, the answer is yes, because if I, who have ADHD and had such horrible thoughts as I just told you about in my late teen and early 20s, those years were horrible for me. I felt like I couldn't stop my thoughts. I couldn't control if I just wanted to die and not live, but I learned to do it. And how do you do that? My answer was prayer. So I started finding scripture like 2 Corinthians 10, 6, that says, take those thoughts captive. I'm going to wrap you up anger. This is it. I'm throwing you as far as the east is from the west. You're done with this. You're locked up. You're under chain, Mr. Jealousy. And what about you? Worry, worry, worry the same. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, you can rear your head up occasionally, and I'll look at it, but that's it. Because I have a power greater than listening to the lies of any enemy any lie that comes forward in my mind, any thought that I don't want to think. I know that it says that men often lust more than women in some of the books that we read, but I think women deal with that as well. And we don't have to keep dwelling on it and thinking about it and looking about it. Get rid of whatever it is that causes you to stumble and whatever causes you to sin. And how do you get rid of it? Lock it up, throw it away, and start thinking about things that are good. God, thank you for all of the blessings in my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. I'm looking on those friends that stick close to me like you do, Jesus. I'm looking at the blessings of what you have given me. My home. Look where I live, God. I am so blessed. And wherever that is, my friend, you can know that you are blessed too. I remember when Bud and I were building our new home in St. Louis and we lived in a little tiny apartment where there had been a murder a couple of years before. There had been a lot of crime in that area, but it was a cheap apartment building that in the bedroom window, we looked out at a brick wall because there were other bedrooms down the road from us, down the pathway from us. And there was a little bird building her nest in one of the flues that was there to let the smoke out or to let the chimney, whatever it was from the other side. I don't know what that building had, but there was a little circular pipe. It might have just been for a dryer in the basement of the building. But a bird had built the nest there because it had warm air. And that's where she was raising her babies. A beautiful nest that she had built. Maybe the husband helped, (laughs) the father of the baby birds. But it was a sweet little nest where she was warm in the wintertime when we were there. I love the nest that, God, you have given me, my home here in Florida, living on a lake. Even though we have hurricanes, even though we have floods, even though there are things that happen here in Florida, I am blessed here as I was in St. Louis, Missouri, as I was in my little home in Clarksville, Missouri, on the Mississippi River where we faced the floods. But I know that one thing is for sure. God says in Philippians 4, 8, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely 
and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Somebody had given us a framed poster-like picture of that, and we have it right in our bedroom as you go from the bed to the bathroom every morning. You start fixing your thoughts first thing in the morning. Thank you, God, for this new day. I woke up this side of eternity, and I thank you and praise you that I get to come in contact with other people today. Let me be an example of what you would have me to show them. And then I read down in a further scripture about 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5, we wage war as humans using God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, but we knock down the strongholds of human reasoning, and we use these to destroy false arguments. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps us from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and we teach them to obey Christ. I love that because we often, especially with the elections coming up, we want to argue and we want to say that our side is right and you are not. And my say my side is right and you are not. So we become enemies where we were once friends over a political debate that will pass as well. But the weapons the Lord has given us are not of this world. And that's why in Romans 10, 2, it says, don't be conformed to this world or the way that the world does things, but be transformed by the renewing of what? Your mind. That's right. We change our mind. We think on things that are good. Renew my mind today. Thank you, God, that I don't have to dwell on those things of the past. I don't have to live with those sinful thoughts and lies because you have told me what I can do, what you'll help me to do, and I don't have to battle all of those lies and tactics of the enemies without the protection that you have given me because you have given me the greatest weapon of all, and that is your word. And I choose to arm myself with the truth found in the word of God. A final word, he says, here it is. After you've put on the armor of God in Ephesians 6, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of the armor so that you will be able to stand against the strategies of the devil himself. For we don't fight with flesh and blood, but against the principalities and the powers of this dark world, against the evil spirits, even in heavenly places. Put on every piece of the armor that you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil, and after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Wow, how powerful is that? Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you that we can dwell on what is good and powerful, and we can have strength over the lies of the enemy. Thank you that we don't have to worry or be angry or be jealous or sin in our thoughts and in our minds, because I'm putting on the mind of Christ, and it is pure and lovely. And my friend, in praying for you, I take on the battles that you're facing, and I ask God to comfort you, heal you, take you through whatever it is, and that you too might think on what is pure and holy and lovely and good, and be powerful and live in righteousness and love and in thanking God for all that he has given you. And don't dwell on those things that come against you. But instead, at the name of Jesus, every knee has to bow and every tongue will confess one day. I'm doing it now, but you have to confess one day, and so will every enemy that we have. So will Satan himself confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm Dr. Pepper, shaking the salt and thinking on things that are good and lovely today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my friends. Renew your mind. You don't have to live with those thoughts. Thanks for staying on, my friend. If you would like to contact me, 
visit saltandlightministry.com. If you want to share your story with me, ask a question, have me come speak to your group, or maybe just request prayer. Once again, saltandlightministry.com. Thanks and God bless. Thanks for staying on, my friend. If you would like to contact me, visit saltandlightministry.com. If you want to share your story with me, ask a question, have me come speak to your group, or maybe just request prayer. Once again, saltandlightministry.com. Thanks and God bless.